Hey everybody, Animal Man here. I'm outside Shaw's Supermarket. We're going in to make another bug up there. We're gonna find some supermarket survival gear. Stay with us. Oh, here's our string, guys. Here we go. Kitchen twine. That's the ticket. First item in. Need to have cordage. Let's see though. 100 foot natural cotton. This will be great for cordage and for starting fires. Awesome. Here's something else cool. These reusable coffee filters. I love these. I use these to make tea at home with my herbs that I find in the wild or whatever. But this will be great to, to sip water through it's for the first step of our water purification. Um, also to make teas just like I do at home. So I'm going to grab this. This is going to go in the car. So here we got our spices. Uh, what I've noticed in the wild is you really, if you have like seasonings, whatever, it can go a long way to making things more palatable. I mean, I don't mind the way things taste, at least for a while up to a point, but a lot of people do. So here, I definitely want to see if they have a Cajun seasoning. Where'd it go? I thought I saw Cajun seasoning. To get that. And then when we're done with the seasoning, we have this container too. And then see if we can just like find a pepper. Or garlic, garlic powder might be good. That'll be good. And they have just a pepper. We've got ground, ground pepper here. I'm gonna just grab this. I'm gonna put those in there. See if I can find salt in the baking aisle. We need TP. So here, I'm gonna grab just one roll of TP. Because when you gotta go, you gotta go. Nature calls. I listen. Because we're in the supermarket, guys, we need to grab some food. And I like Cliff Bars and Power Bars. I happen to like the taste of a few of them, actually. And the best Cliff Bar I'll show you is Blueberry Crisp. These things are actually really, really good. I'm gonna grab a few of these to put in our survival gear stash, bug out bag, cart. And then I like Power Bars, too. Gotta find the right ones. The only Power Bars I really like are the peanut butter and jelly and the chocolate. Cookies and cream might be pretty good too, actually. I haven't tried it though. I don't see any, but I want some more. Dude, they've got vanilla, but they don't have chocolate anymore. It's a travesty, I tell you, a travesty. All right then, more blueberry crisp it is. I'm wasting too much time on this. Here's something that I didn't see finding that I just thought of would be really cool. This is a chop and scoop. This we can use as our cutting board as pictured. But also, this is a multi-use item. This could be for digging. This is cool. This is the kind of thing that like blows me away. I find cool uses, multiple uses for things in the store. That's awesome. I've been trying to find balloons too. These are great. Another multi-use item. I've got, uh, I've got these for extra water storage and also you can use the elasticity of them for making a slingshot, things like that. Slingshot, maybe a spear, like a Hawaiian sling style spear. Awesome. Here we go. High protein, easily storable food for our bag. Let's choose your survivalist, choose Jeff. Another high protein item, I was thinking beef jerky, but now I'm thinking tuna. And the cans are all right. I want a can that's got an easy open. Oh, dude, this is even better. This is even better. Check it out. These are anchovies and olive oil. This is great. Several reasons why. Number one, we've got protein from the anchovies. When I'm done with them, I then have this awesome glass bottle to use with me, and I've got the olive oil that I can use to cook with, use it for my skin, all different uses for that. So that's pretty awesome too. And these anchovies, if I don't want to eat all of them, I can save some, use them as trap bait or fishing bait. So this is a great item to have in our kit here. Chicken ramen noodles, it's a no-brainer. We need these in our kit. So easy to prepare. Grab some loaves. I also love like Lipton rice and Lipton noodles. See what they have. I like these ones. Now I'll grab this. Noodles might be, where the hell are the noodles? Oh, while I'm here, it's Idaho and potatoes, awesome too. Potatoes. I'm just gonna grab a couple of these rices. So now I've got some meals. Meals on wheels. I'm gonna get a larger one of these, sea salt, because this is another multi-use one. Um, we can use this for our skin, 
We can use it as a seasoning. We can also use it as a preserve to preserve meat. So this is very, very useful. I'm going to get a larger one for our bag. And I chose the one with the glass container because after we're done, we've got the glass once again. Normally when I'm shopping, guys, I'm happy if I find these disposable loaf pans. But being in a supermarket, we've got some like real pans and real pots. The most useful of them might be a small pot with a lid and a handle, something like this. So you've got a real, you know, normal pot with a lid, very versatile. You can use it as a frying pan if you want, but you can cook whole meals in there. You can definitely cook all these potatoes and rice dishes in it. And then I just saw sterno fuel. Awesome, this a three pack. So there's the fuel fuel for the fire. We need a good knife, and I like knives that come with little sheaths. So here's our choices. A small green or a bigger orange. I'm going to get the green. It's smaller, looks like it'll handle better, and because I like green. And we've got the sheath, so it'll be nice and safe when we carry this for carrying it in our pocket or something. How's this for an improvised weapon, you guys? Turkey lifters, one on each hand, use them like ninja size or something. Pretty hardcore makeshift weapon. So we need to deal with water a little bit more now. I'm gonna grab one of these Brita water bottle. It's got a filter in there and I know it's not going to purify the water. It's not a purifier filter. It's not a water purifier but what this is gonna do, this filter in here, we're gonna take our water, a water that we've already boiled and killed the germs in. We're gonna put it in this bottle and this improves the taste because some water just doesn't taste good and it also is going to get out any heavy metals. That's what this is good for. It's just secondary filtration to make it taste better for us. And we need a water bottle anyway. We'll need some fruit for our meals. So I'm gonna choose one of them that's got a good container. You know the deal by now, cranberries. Got a plastic container and if you're getting the point by now, what I like to do is I like to keep the containers when I'm done. So I'm gonna pick the one in the plastic container instead of the one in the bag. Gatorade energy chews because I like them. They're like a snack. It's like a fun pick-me-up morale booster. Oh, you know we need Sharpie markers. Here we go. Pencils are awesome to write with and we can carve them to make some kindling for our fire. And we need a notebook. I don't know if they thought this that well out. I thought there'd be backpacks in the back to school section, but I don't work here. So I'm gonna have to improvise for a bag. Got a big Shaw's bag. I'd rather have it be a backpack, but thermal tote. Might have to just do that. That might have to be our bag. So I'll put this underneath. Here's the clearance section, summer clearance. So for bedding, here's what I'm thinking. For bedding. You ever slept on one of these before? I have a bunch of times on camper trips. These things are awesome. They're great. It's like a it's like a cheap uh, cheap ghetto uh, <laughs> cheap ghetto air mattress. So normally eight bucks, it's on sale, 33% off. So for just a couple bucks, a few bucks, we get a bed. And uh, let me see, we need something to cover with. I don't know. I was hoping to find another one that might be easily cut. So we might be able to take if we needed to for a covering or like instead of a tarp might be able to take one of these styles and be able to use our knife and cut it into two flaps and flip it open and we can use this as a uh, as a pretty thick like tarp covering or something to make our shelter so i'm gonna grab both of these for now we'll see if we find something else better this is great also on sale a mask swim mask this is great for spear fishing and collecting food underwater i love diving underwater and I would definitely want one of these. If you don't have room for this, at least get the goggles, get a good pair of goggles. I don't like how it distorts my vision though, so I would personally use the extra room and have a full on mask. These are like by far better than goggles. You can see a lot clearer, don't distort your vision. Here's where I'm at. We really need some kind of drink mix to make the water taste better because water gets old fast. It really does, it really does. I want a Gatorade mix because it's got the electrolytes in there, but the best I'm finding, I think, we're gonna go with Tang. I'm gonna put this in the car. This thing is heavy though. I wish they had a smaller one. Maybe I'll have to do like Kool-Aid or something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to decide. I'll grab a Tang, grab a few Kool-Aids, see what we can do. I just passed by these wash bags. These might be good to just put like clothing in or something or 
or just to sort things in our bag. So I'm gonna grab this, you know, for all my survival lingerie. That's a scary thought, God. Getting in some cool stuff here, guys. A sewing kit is a must have. I think these are the same, yeah, they're the same. So, this has got some needles, all different threads. This has three needles, more thread though. Yeah, this has got the scissors too and a little thimble. I'm gonna grab this one. A sewing kit's a necessity, guys. Gotta have a sewing kit for repairs. Fire starting section, double lighters. I know they're big. Yeah. Destroying the place. Stay punch script though. And then matches. Let me see the difference here is strike on box, strike on box, 32, 32. I think they're the same. I don't know. I'm gonna grab a ton of matches. Hundreds. Chips, no, lighter fluid, maybe. Let me see. Envirolog. Grill starters, lighter, ooh, lighter balls. That just sounds cool. Dude, it's out of this world, so we gotta try them. Lighter balls. Lighter balls. Oh, I don't even see, it. forget the lighter balls. Maybe I'll get both. This is a huge box of fat wood. This is such a good fire starter though. I'd buy this and spend the five bucks for this big box only to fit a few of these in the bag. Like that'd still be totally worth it to get this. This is one of the best fire starters there is, guys. That wood. Sounds kind of funny. You wanna see my fat wood? But I just happened to buy LED flashlight. Great for hiking and camping, power outages and more. Zoom lens, AAA, battery's not included. Man, piss off. We gotta go find battery. We gotta find batteries anyway. I'd want extra batteries anyway. Cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff. I always like the gallon Ziplocs. Every single time I go for those. They're the bomb diggity do. Maybe a small thing of kitchen trash bags too. 20 bags, 13 gallon. Yeah. Yeah. It's heavy though. They're so useful. That's another thing, I would take just a few out of here and I, I'd buy this. If this is for my, my real actual bug out bag dude and you can only go in, the, go in the supermarket and this is what you had, I'd spend that if I had the cash to get this to take like, I don't know, there's 20 in there. I'd take like six or seven of them out of there and leave the rest. Totally worth it again, just to have some of those. But that's too many. Th these two things, way too big and bulky to have all of them with you, in my opinion. We're gonna get probably two of these. Two of these super absorbent cloths. So a lot of people put reading material in their bug out bags, guys, for like morale, something to do to fight bored and whatever. The thing is, I don't like any of this crap. I don't read this crap. I gotta find something. In Canada, Canada's cool. This might be cool. Might have some cool, useful things in there. And, oh, oh, now we're talking. Look, this is like our section right here. Home defense, survival. That looks cool. And let's see about you. Yup, you look cool. I'm gonna just take that one. All right, people, we need tooth care. I'm gonna get this mint waxed dental floss, the largest container they have, 55 yards. This is great for cordage and dental floss. It's like, think about it, it's got like your own little string dispenser here. You've got 55 yards of string, pretty strong string too, by the way. And you can like unwrap it right off of this. It's got its own little cutoff tool on there for you and a neat little compact package. And, and this is great for trapping. If you're trapping small rodents, if it's like mice, rats, chipmunks, squirrels, woodchucks, things like that, you can make certain traps, um, certain types of modified figure four traps where they chew through string and that sets the trap off and you'd have to bait the string. Well, you've got pre-baited string already. It smells like mint, dude, it tastes like mint. They'll chew through this. So that is your trap bait also. That's a really cool multi-use item. Toothbrush, just a cheap toothbrush. Sure. You don't have a green ones? How dare they not have a green one? How dare they? I can't buy that because it's not green. I can't, no. I thought I was gonna have to have like a Ninja Turtle toothbrush or something. Green. Wet ones are awesome for personal hygiene. They go in our kit. Look at how much stuff. Oh man. 
we need petroleum jelly guys you will see why in a moment just have to find the other half of this travel toothpaste biodegradable soap pure castile soap hep, hemp bleh, hemp peppermint this is for clean yourself taking a shower or whatever taking a bath and for dishwashing that stuff is awesome the choice is clear clear eyes clear eyes is awesome I don't need that though I don't need it uh, now we're on to the first do they have a first aid kit I always like to have an actual first aid kit I don't know if I'll tempt to just pick and choose whatever I want and put it in this first aid bag dude but this will save us time and money first oh this is what I want this is better smaller all right this but then we're gonna probably have to add some stuff you have to always add to your first aid kits they never come with enough I consider first aid kits boo boo kits we're like filling this thing up I'd have to add I definitely want an ace bandage because what happens if you're running from the zombies and you twist your ankle dude you're like you're zombie bait this one will bind to itself this stuff is awesome happen if you sprain your ankle fool you zombie bait for sure <laughs> I'm a riot did you guys find that corny? Well, I guess it all depends. Oh, heaven, I'm in heaven. Fire starting heaven. So, we've got Q-tips and cotton balls. This is like fire starter heaven here. All you need, dudes, oh, and these? These might be freaking great. Those, they're small, I always get these. Oh, this is even better. I don't know, I'm going crazy. I'm so excited. Okay, all you need, dudes, is this and this. Awesomest fire starters ever. I usually use cotton balls, actually. But Vaseline or petroleum jelly cotton balls, you rub the jelly in really good, get the whole thing saturated, keep them in a Ziploc bag, each cotton ball soaked in Vaseline burns about six minutes. They're awesome fire starters. But these are smaller for a bag. That's what I'm gonna go with. These are 100% cotton, cotton rounds. Cotton rounds. Cotton rounds. A few more must-haves over here, guys. Crazy glue for repairs. Gotta have it. I'd rather it be smaller ones, but this is what they got. So that's going in there. And then, what the heck else was it? Oh pencil sharpener so you put a pencil in here sharpen the pencil to write with but then you've got the wood shavings which are dry tinder oh uh-huh mm. I want a duct tape they don't have duct tape what kind of establishment is this seriously we'll get some mailing tape so we have some kind of tape I found it I found it I found it I found it Go back to your home. Triple A's. Small pack of triples for our flashlights. We are good. I'm super stoked about this supermarket bug out bag, guys. We found awesome stuff. Time to rock and roll out of here. 